Hi, I'm Layla from Hidden Wires and today I'm joined by Walt Zerby at ISE 2025. Thank you for joining us, Walt. Absolutely. It's lovely to speak with you today. Um, on a very simple level, I'd like to start by asking what is RP23? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so, sorry about the R, R numbers. Every, you know, all the standards have these numbers, but they actually have names. So, it's the uh, Immersive Video Design Recommended Practice. And it's known in, in the standards world as RP23. Um, it's actually a revision to something that already existed, which was the home theater uh, video design recommended practice. But that was done before um, 4K and a bunch of other things were out. So we needed to update that, uh, that piece of work. But we also needed to make that piece of work um, jive with the immersive audio design recommended practice, which is RP22 that we released at the Cedia Expo last year. So the video portion, so we have the audio portion and now we have the video portion. So that's that's in a, in a nutshell, that's what the effort is. Yeah, the full sh shebang. Yeah. <laughs> Not that that's a technical term, but we'll go with it. Um, so you're going to be doing a class on RP23. Uh, you're gonna be taking integrators through level one of the recommended practice. Can you talk us through that a little bit? Yeah, so this is an introduction to um, the RP23. It is not uh, out yet. We're, we're still working hard on it. I'm hopeful that we will have that piece of work done by the end of the year. But the joke with standards is they just, you know, it's going to be out next year and then it's, and it takes another year <laughs> because the whole process is consensus driven. So there's nobody, nobody runs the ship. It's, it's a group of people that must agree. And sometimes you, you know, talk for a week on one word. So it takes time to do it. But what, so this is gonna be, what is this thing and why would I want it? And what we've done is um, we've noticed in the case of audio, there were no standards or no, no, no levels that someone would design a multi-room audio or a immersive audio system to. So we created four levels. Level one is, is the basic level that would uh, meet artistic intent. So what we're trying to do is if somebody produces something it's our job to make sure we are reproducing it the way that it was intended. So if we do an installation for a customer, we owe it to them that when they sit down in their seat, it is, it is faithful to the production work. So level one is the minimum. If, you, if you're not, and that's probably the most controversial level. If you're not level one, you're level zero, which means um, it does not faithfully reproduce the content that somebody has created. So level one of the immersive video design is the basic. And then we have up to level four. So level two is a step up. Level three meets or exceeds commercial cinema standards. And level four would be sky's the limit, uh, state of the art, cost no object. Okay, some really magnificent work then, you know, for that, for that highest level. Um, so I guess, how do you see RP23 changing the landscape for immersive video design installation? Yeah, I see it changing the landscape in, in delivering consistency. So um, that's our job. Our job is to make sure that um, when you design a system, so these are called, it's the immersive video design. So this is when you get a piece of paper and you, you find out somebody's needs and what kind of type of room they wanna, they wanna have and what the goal is and then you need to design, okay, right, I need to do this to deliver that. So it's consistency. What we want to be able to do is when somebody says, yes, I've designed a video to be a video or a room to be level one, we know exactly what's going to be delivered and we know what, how well that room is going to perform. Because at the end of the day, it's about performance. It's not just about having an image. It's about, well, what does the image look like? Is, it, is, this, is the screen too small? Is it, is it too large? You know, we get into um, uh, white balance and, and black levels and all kinds of things. But it's really the goal and how it will change the industry is to deliver, I'll tell you what happens. As if I'm the customer and I say, I want you to do a system for me, you, you, you'll say, right, I'm gonna deliver you a level one system. So the integrator knows what they're delivering, the customer knows what they're buying, and then the, um, the manufacturer knows that their stuff is going to work properly. I can't tell you how many times I've been in systems where people will say, this, this, these speakers are horrible, or this, this TV is, is horrible. And I'll say, actually, it's not. It's just the wrong thing for your job. It's being asked to do something that it can't do. That's what this does. It makes sure that the experience is delivered. 
Yeah, so it makes sure every person that's part of the process is on the same page ultimately. Absolutely, it gives metrics to immersive audio and immersive video, which we didn't have any metrics before. It sounds like a pretty groundbreaking development. Yeah, it's geeky, yeah. but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> geeky is good. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'd love to hear more about the, the levels um, at your session this week. Um, thank you so much for joining us. It's been fascinating hearing your perspective on Absolutely. On this topic. Thanks for taking an interest in it.